So the Supreme Court just released the New York State Rifle and Pistol Association v. Bruin concealed carry decision. It's authored by Justice Thomas and it's a 6-3 decision. So this is a 135 page opinion. By no means have I gone through completely through it yet. I just wanna get you guys this information and I just wanna give you my initial reaction. And then later tonight, I'm gonna to be putting up a more comprehensive video. So again, 6-3 decision authored by Thomas. Let's see what the general holding was. So the general holding is what he stated right here. It says the court held New York's proper cause requirement violates the 14th amendment by preventing law abiding citizens with ordinary self-defense needs from exercising their second amendment right to keep and bear arms in public for self-defense. A, in District of Columbia v. Heller and McDonald v. Chicago, the court held that the second and 14th amendment protect an individual right to keep and bear arms for self-defense. Under Heller, when the second amendment's plain text covers an individual's conduct, the constitution presumptively protects that conduct. And to justify a firearm regulation, the government must demonstrate that the regulation is consistent with the nation's historical tradition of the fire of firearm regulation. So there he's talking about tradition. This is something we've talked about a lot where a regulation, even if you could maybe put in place a regulation it must comply with the text history and tradition of the second amendment. There he's hitting on tradition. Since Heller McDonald, the courts of appeals have developed a two-step framework for analyzing second amendment challenges that combines history with means and scrutiny. The court rejects that two part approach as having one step too many. Step one is broadly consistent with Heller, which demands a test rooted in the second amendment text as informed by history. So they just rejected the two step approach that, I mean, as I'm reading this right now, again, for my first pass, they are rejecting two step approaches, which we've seen like, the second circuit used, the ninth circuit used. They're essentially saying that second like uh, scrutiny test that all these other circuit courts like to use and rely on, they're saying that's one step too far. All you gotta use is the text, history, and tradition. So very interesting analysis already from the <laughs> beginning of this. They are rejecting this proper cause standard. They're saying it violates the 14th amendment. And they're also saying that the two-step approach that all these circuit courts like to use is one step too far. So you guys can see, uh, you don't see me smile a lot. This is kind of something to smile about. I'm kind of getting excited just reading through this. Like I said, I'm gonna do a more comprehensive breakdown later, but this is already making me smile. I mean, I love the way Thomas writes. Lost my place. But Heller and McDonald do not support a second step that applies means and scrutiny in the second amendment context. Heller's methodology centered on constitutional text and history. It did not invoke any means and test such as strict or intermediate scrutiny. And it expressly rejected any interest balancing inquiry akin to intermediate scrutiny. So again, they are, this is something we were hoping for. I, I wanna reflect this, make, I wanna make this very clear. We were not sure how far the Supreme Court was going to go in this opinion. We were not sure how far Thomas would go in this opinion. It appears that he is going as far as we wish he would have went. He is rejecting the two-step approach. He's rejecting anything beyond text, history, and tradition. He is saying text as informed by history and tradition is the entire test, stop, period, end it there. All these other tests that the Ninth Circuit likes to use, the Second Circuit likes to use, that is no more. The Supreme Court is saying you cannot do that. And especially intermediate scrutiny, which the Ninth Circuit and Second Circuit and all these liberal courts like to use, is no more. You cannot use intermediate scrutiny when you're looking at things like the Second Amendment. Three, the test that the court sets forth in Heller and applies today requires courts to assess whether modern firearms regulations are consistent with the Second Amendment's text and historical understanding. Of course, the regulatory challenges posed by firearms today are not always the same as those that preoccupied the founders in 1791 or the reconstruction generation in 1868. So in this initial video, as you guys heard, heard me reading some of that language, I, like I said, it's 135 pages. You just heard me kind of initially go through it. The two main takeaways I want you to take away from this so far, and again, I'm gonna do a more comprehensive breakdown tonight, and I'll give you guys more of an understanding of what all is gonna be the interplay of this, but the two main takeaways so far. They just struck down New York's proper cost standard for concealed carry permits. So that's a big deal. That's a big deal for the state of New York, and that's a big deal for other states that have these restrictive concealed carry schemes. Even more important, 
What they just did is they struck down this two-step approach that circuit courts like the Second and the Ninth Circuit likes to use. The Supreme Court here and what Thomas just said is that the entire test when you are looking at a Second Amendment violation is you look at the text as informed by history and tradition. And that is a big deal. That is a huge deal. That is going to change a lot of these cases that have come out of the Ninth Circuit and other circuits as well that like to rely on the two-step approach, that like to rely on intermediate scrutiny. Here they're saying intermediate scrutiny no longer applies. You have to look at the text, history, and tradition, which is a very high bar to get past all of these restrictions that these liberal states like the state of California and New York like to put in place. This bodes really well for us and our rights going forward. So this is a huge win. I cannot make this clear enough in this video. This is a huge win as I'm reading it right now. Again, I'm gonna break it down more comprehensively tonight. I'm gonna dig into this 135 pages, but I wanted to get this information out to you guys because this is a big deal. This is a big win. And Thomas did what we thought he would do. And again, I just, it's, it's amazing. So this is a great decision. This is something we've been waiting for. And I just wanna make you guys aware of this. I also wanna thank one of the sponsors of the channel who makes all this possible, USCCA. I know a lot of you guys in maybe restrictive states and other states might now be having concealed carry available to you. If you're interested, check out USCCA. Uh, they provide you with training, education, but also self-defense liability protection if you concealed carry. So again, take that into consideration. But again, I just wanna let you guys know right here now, the decision hit, it's a Thomas decision. It's 6-3, they struck down proper cause, they struck down this whole May issue scheme in the state of New York, and they also struck down the two-step approach and put in place text, history, and tradition as the entire test when you look at Second Amendment violations. So if you guys like this video and like support the channel, one of the best ways to do that is to like, comment, subscribe. Um, all that stuff helps to fuel the algorithm or fuel algorithm rhythm. It adds fuel to his jet and it signals to YouTube that you guys see value in these videos and in this type of two-way news. Again, I wanna thank everybody who liked, comment, subscribe. Please share this video to everybody. Let everybody know that this just happened because this is a huge deal for the Second Amendment world and this is just a huge deal for constitutional rights. So share this to everybody. Share it on your social media. Let people know about this video and this decision. I will link it down in the details section so you guys can also read it for yourself. But again, huge win. And as always, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And never forget, this nation was built by armed scholars and this nation will be maintained by armed scholars.